morning guys it's um 5 a.m ready to go okay all right Okay, so we're just at the start of the Mammoth March right now. Um, we just passed the 10 kilometer mark. So there's another, what, 60? Something like that, yeah. 60, 70 kilometers left to go. So there's four of us doing it. We'll see who survives. Maybe to give you a little bit of an overview as well about why we're doing this and what the Mammoth March is really about. Um, so this whole thing is about um, knowing the limits of your body and your mental capabilities, basically, and um, trying to overcome those limits. And um, I think this whole thing, like, it's not going to be a problem physically, really. I think it's more going to be a problem of a mental kind of state. So I think at some stage you're just going to kind of be tired and don't want to be walking anymore. So, yeah, we just keep going and try to see how far we get. What type of sounds do giraffes make? I think. <laughs> 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 That's an elephant. <laughs> To a bit of a crossroads and we would have had to actually walk on the road itself so turning back going back a little bit and i think we have around 60 um, kilometers left still to go so we have around 20 25 kilometers 59 kilometers left so 20 kilometers or 25 kilometers or so we've walked so far so it's not too bad. The weather is pretty shit. Hopefully it gets better. The kilometers to go home don't seem to get less at all. Either we're walking really slow or we took a few wrong turns. And we're still like around 60, 65 kilometers away from where we where we left this morning. So it's like 18 hours away <laughs> by foot. Crazy. Yeah, we'll have to figure out what we do. And um, especially like if this weather keeps getting worse. I don't know what the wrong, what the right solution would be, but yeah, we're gonna figure it out on the way. See what happens. It's Jenny and Ulf. <laughs> Let's go. Hello. Okay, all right. So we're cutting through a bit of forest here now really deep in some forest right now there's a really creepy little pond here as well i don't know if you can see that well but um just really still water pond really smelly um kind of creepy but yeah we're we're getting through um the walk now at the moment i think we are about 16 
16 to 18 kilometers away from a train station so that's what we're planning on doing it's going to be a total of 44 45 kilometers that we're walking today so not too bad <laughs> The weather worsens basically by the second. It's raining a lot now. Um, we're trying to get through it somehow, but it's really not fun anymore, to be honest. The level of pain in my feet right now, it's just on a whole different level. You just have to keep pushing. Yeah, like this now is the stage where we really have to fight with ourselves and with our mindset, to be honest, because it's tough. Like Naomi said earlier, this challenge, the Mammoth Mars, is it's all about pushing yourself um, past what you think is possible so it's definitely something that big that we want to promote as well on this channel like just get out there get into nature go travel go explore the world that's the whole meaning of the word adventure so hope you guys enjoy this video let's go also Ulfi and Jenny are a little bit behind now They're falling behind yeah <laughs> they're falling behind Come on, Ulfi! Come on, Jenny! <laughs> <laughs> Luke keeps walking. Luke keeps walking beside the path for the last kind of five hours. <laughs> Every now and then he kind of trips. Really funny. <laughs> Something really interesting. We're just walking past a forest here. It's called Koenig's Forest, I think is the name. I don't know if you can see that very well, but there is a, um, a fence the whole way around the forest. And it's because since World War II, there's still mines, like active mines in the ground and ammunition and stuff like that still to this day um, around in that forest. So obviously the public are not allowed to access it. There was a sign like with a warning on it saying, don't go in here. Historically, there is still live ammunition um, dotted around the forest. So that's really, really interesting. I'm going to be doing a bit of Googling about this forest when I get back. Skadoodling. Skadoodle. All right, guys, so checking in. Uh, we just checked our step counters, step counters on our phones. And right now, I have like a little bit over 51,000 steps just for today. Naomi's at like 54,000. Yeah. Um, so we're looking at between 50 and 55 kilometers that we've actually walked so far. Fucking exhausted. Sorry for the language. I'm still but, enjoying it though. Yeah, it's still a really, really enjoyable walk. Um, the weather has just been all over the place. It goes from raining to warm to cold. Obviously, we've been through quite a bit on our walk, so we we just literally came out of a very dense forest now, and now we're obviously like on a main road. So, walking on concrete, one thing, walking on concrete fucking kills your feet. Um, so I'm definitely going to need like a really long, warm shower when we get home. Feels like walking on eggshells right now. Yeah, it's really, really <laughs> bad. Feels like your feet are just on fire. But uh, yeah, we're on our way now to a station called Burgish Gladbach. Uh, which will be our train home and then obviously we're going to walk home from the main station as well so that will be an extra few more steps as well so i'll show you guys when we get home we're going to do a quick update when we get home we'll update all of our steps how far we actually walked and uh yeah Whoop. so we're just off the train um long day finally finally off the train my current steps as we are approaching our apartment is 56, just over 56k. I have around 60k right now. And uh, the problem is pretty much for us now that um, our GPS completely blocked out, which is why 
um, we walked the wrong path as well and we got kind of lost for two and a half hours. So yeah, right I... now we don't know actually um, what kind of a distance we walked, so we have to kind of assume our distance really. Yeah, the original goal was to walk 90 to 100 K, 100 kilometers. That was the original goal. We started out, we met up this morning with uh, Jenny, Naomi's stepsister, and Ulf, who's a friend of both Jenny and Naomi and myself now as well. And basically the goal was, okay, we're gonna go from um, Koenig's winter all the way to Wuppertal, which is where we're standing right now. And that would be, that would work out to be like 90-ish kilometers. Would take literally the entire day, like 18 hours straight of walking. Obviously we went, we met up, we started in Koenig's winter. All was good. We had a speaker, it was really good. Um, we started walking. We thought we were doing the right thing. We spent about four hours walking. Then we realized that the GPS was messed up. Sent us around in a fucking circle for like four hours. We thought that we were making lots of progress. And then we had to completely redirect everything and replan everything. Um, but it worked out well still. We still managed to get, if I was to guess, around 60 kilometers done. So that's a good day. Um, we, are, we were actually just saying as well, we both, I myself, I was a personal trainer. Naomi also is qualified in personal training and we spent a lot of time in the gym pre um, the virus. And we are regretting not hitting the gym for the last year because my legs are killing me. I can't imagine what the pain is gonna be like in the next few days. But um, we're going to go grab some food now. We're gonna get some calories in. I'm gonna update you guys because I'm gonna post some screenshots up here, hopefully. Uh, post some screenshots up if I don't pass out as yeah. soon as we get home. In case we don't fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we're nearly there now. We're gonna stop off at like a Turkish restaurant that's local to where our Airbnb is. And then we'll check back in with you guys. Peace.